Good day, everyone, and welcome to Onco Influencers. I'm Gemma Rakelian, and I'll be your host today. We are incredibly honored to be joined today by Professor Chang from the Sun Yat Sen University Cancer Center. Behind her impressive titles, director, professor, principal investigator, mentor, is a doctor who has dedicated her career to one of oncology's toughest battles, sarcomas and melanomas. So, Professor Chang, thanks a lot for joining us today. And why did you decide to start a special center just for melanoma and sarcoma patients? Yeah, it, it, it's a very important question. Uh, we established this special center uh, primarily due to a uh, critical and unmet clinical need. Also, uh, melanoma and sarcoma are both uh, class, classified as real tumors, and uh, most of of them are highly aggressive, complex to diagnose and uh, challenging to treat. A large pitch in the population in China, but uh, uh, in the past, uh, the patients were often uh, located uh, across the different regions. This made it difficult for them to receive focused cutting-edge care. Establishing this melanoma and sarcoma unit allowed us to uh, bring the best resource together including a top medical oncologist uh, surgeon, uh, radiation oncologist, positive, uh, just uh, interventional uh, specialist, uh, and the re- researchers as well into one uh, integrated platform. Our core uh, belief is that uh, this complex uh, reaction was a highly specialized uh, multi disciplinary teamwork, that means the MDT work. Uh, could create a true uh, standard uh, personalized and uh, precision uh, treatment uh, plan for each patient uh, to achieving for long uh, uh, the patient survival. Mm. Thank you very much. When you started your career, there were not many treatment options available for these patients with sarcomas and melanoma. So what is the biggest improvement you have seen in treating this cancer? Yeah. Uh, in recent years, the biggest improvement, a uh, truly uh, revolutionary change, has been the shift from the uh, traditional uh, window that uh, chemotherapy is one side fit or model to the area of uh, precision medicine, especially for uh, new targeted therapy and immunotherapy. And for the real tumors, such as the melanoma and the sarcoma, which uh, challenge the remains, we see that. Uh, uh, you can see that have promising uh, uh, development for treatment. For example, new targeted therapy for special uh, subtypes uh, of their uh, real tumors uh, or specific gen- genetic alteration, like those with the uh, occur uh, amplification uh, and track inference uh, mentor uh, signaling uh, and uh, MDM2 uh, amplification. Or some patients with the MY deficiency. So, uh, this uh, alteration acts like the precision medicine guided and missiles. So, moreover, the advance of immunotherapy had changed survival outcome for advanced sarcoma patients, allowing uh, some to achieve long term survival or even clinical cure. Also, uh, cell based uh, immunotherapy, such as the TCR, T cell therapy, uh, so we have the first R&D and the breakthrough therapy designation t uh, cells in China. We new hope for later line treatments in uh, these advanced rare uh, tumor patients. The essence of uh, progress is that we are no longer just tagging the broad concept of tumor, but uh, delving into its genetic analysis and uh, markment for more uh, precision uh, medicine. Thanks a lot for your answer, Professor Chang. Obviously, all these advancements won't be possible be- without clinical trials. And can you explain more in details why are clinical trials so important, especially when it comes to rare cancers? It's uh, also a par- uh, important question uh, for patients with rare tumors, especially those who are uh, uh, standard therapy has failed uh, or has no effective standard treatment. Clinical trials are very important for the future and uh, the hope. Due to the low incidence of real tumors, the family 
pharmaceutical companies have less incentive to invest in research and development, resulting a few, uh, very few uh, new drugs reaching the uh, market and for further patient treatment. Therefore, a clinical trial are the primary way to break this crisis. They give our patients early access to the world's most advanced and poor mostly new drugs, therapies, or technologies. Often, uh, positivity in the uh, clinical trial represents a potential chance for treatment, finding the new method for uh, therapy, changing the guideline, or even the only possible change for a cure. So uh, we think clinical trial as uh, important for medical service we offer for our patients who uh, standard therapy has failed or uh, has no effect standard uh, treatment. I see, yes, obviously. And um, May I ask you to share one success story from your center related to clinical trials? Yeah. Uh, our proudest achievement is in the single case, uh, rather our success in building a bridge platform that uh, uh, translates laboratory discovery into clinical benefit. For instance, we were early positive and leaders in some clinical trials of attack therapy, in immune therapy, uh, and uh, the combinations for sarcoma patients and melanoma uh, patients data from the, these studies provide uh, key uh, evidence for revising children guideline directly benefited patients. And uh, in these real tumors, we successfully conduct a multi-center trial of uh, TCRT therapy targeting the NYSO positive uh, and uh, MDN2 inhibitor and also uh, for epigenetic drugs such as HDAC inhibitors. So these novel therapies allow a group of later stage patients who had uh, run out of treatment options and had no, no standard uh, like, uh, treatment to achieve a long term uh, disease control and prolong the survival uh, with uh, some patients survival for uh, almost five, uh, about five years, five years with a good quality of life. Behind uh, this achievement, uh, by our team, uh, uh, our team's deep uh, is it part has and the collaborations in clinical trials, precision management, and uh, as well uh, follow up. Amazing. So yeah, uh, it's very interesting actually when it comes to clinical trials, because there are so many drugs developed in academia and the by farm companies. So how do you decide which drugs have potential, which ones we need to push to clinical trials? And uh, uh, this is the scientific decision-making process and based on uh, a complicated three uh, uh, eva- evaluation. Uh, firstly, uh, the scientific evidence is the foundation we closely follow uh, the latest findings from top global re- reference and also uh, leverage our all strong basic, basic and translation research platform uh, in our center, conducting uh, studies in in vitro environment and in vivo environment such as animal models. Any new uh, Drug or therapies must have robust preclinical data. And the second delay, uh, unmade clinical need guide us. Uh, so addressing cur- uh, current treatment uh, dilemmas, uh, some di- difficulties such as uh, patients re- resistant to standard therapy or for highly uh, aggressive sarcoma subtypes with no uh, available treatment. Uh, so the aim of clinical trials provide high benefit for patients and uh, prolong the, the, the survival and uh, promote the over response. Finding the driver gene and the more effective new treatment uh, is very important. And uh, uh, finally, safety is most, most important. We carefully invite early safety data is to ensure the low uh, toxicity of this uh, testing drug in clinical trials. 
I see. So what is the biggest challenge that you face when running these clinical trials? Is it the fear of unknown? What's the biggest challenge for you personally? Yeah, the biggest challenge uh, like the from, uh, come from two points. The first point is uh, recruiting as a subject. Uh, so rare uh, tumors such as uh, melanoma and sarcoma has a small patient population to begin with. And the clinical trial uh, Energy bleaching criteria are very strict and important. So, and if I, uh, the right uh, patient, the proper patient to require combination, complex genetic testing, a pathology review, and a clinical assessment, with demanding a significant effort and an efficient screening system. Uh, secondly, uh, procedural uh, complex uh, situ and quality control are very important for clinical trial. And clinical uh, has a extremely strict uh, regulatory and uh, procedural requirement uh, from ethics uh, approval and informed consent to drug management data recording and reporting. So uh, not a single step can afford the error. So this require, require a highly professional and uh, meticulous research team to ensure that uh, as the uh, city, the truth of this data and uh, re- re- reliability, which are also a uh, flash of resp- responsibility for patients. Yeah, thank you for your answer, Pro- Professor Chang. I completely agree that when it comes to rare tumors, recruitment of patients can be a real challenge. That's why I think this interview is very important to spread awareness. So, you know, international community and uh, our audience listens and knows about your center and the great work that you are doing. So uh, patients, more patients will know about availability of these clinical trials and can be recruited, hopefully. And this will bring new hope uh, to patients with these rare tumors like sarcomas and melanomas. So um, moving back to the topic with uh, investigational drugs and new treatments, what exciting new type of treatment are you most hopeful about right now that maybe we don't even know that you are testing? Yeah, r- right. Uh, uh, I think so. So I, I'm very hopeful about the uh, Break through for a new generation of cell based uh, immunotherapies and personalized cancer vaccine in solid tumors. As we know, uh, real CAR T cells had been hugely successful in hematological tumors. However, it's a face challenging in solid tumors, like uh, in new, uh, exostation and a new immunosuppressive uh, uh, micro environment. So we see a uh, great uh, Potential in new technology such as the TCR T therapies, uh, with a new target for solid tumors and uh, new antigenic vaccines. We hope this technology can be effective compared with uh, the existing uh, our existing immune uh, therapies and the target therapies, forming a more powerful combination point to overcome tumor drug resistance and uh, benefit. Uh, more uh, rare tumor patients. So I think especially uh, the new hope is for the TCR T therapy, uh, CAR T therapy, CANKI therapies, and TIO uh, therapies. Yeah, so uh, very interesting. Fingers crossed for these new therapies. Let's see. We are waiting for the results, hopefully positive ones. And you are an amazing leader, Professor Chiang, and I'm sure you have your solid vision about your center's future as well. Can you share what's your vision for, let's say, upcoming five years, what you aim to achieve? So we, we think that the uh, chief of the field, yes, is the, we hope to uh, initiate and learn more uh, first in human clinical trials, such as new tactical therapy and immune therapy leading Hub of innovation. Uh, secondly, we will uh, promote uh, translation research from lab bench to best that only allowing of uh, all scientific discovery to benefit patients. Its activity cover a broad spectrum to uh, in oncology from basic to translation and clinical research. It is designed to be a world class hub for cancer prevention treatment technology innovation, 
and uh, uh, impending high quality medical resources. Mm. So uh, we aimed not only to treat patients, but also through our work, enhance the, the international co collaborations. Mm. Wonderful. And my last question usually is a concluding question. I ask my guests to give one advice to a young doctor who wants to work in cancer research and clinical trials setting. Because I know that you are also a mentor and you uh, guide so many young doctors and students. So what's the main advice that you want to uh, give to our young doctors, young professionals? Yeah, uh, my advice for young doctors has three parts. Firstly, uh, maintaining a strong, clear city and the desire for knowledge. There are regularly advancement and uh, update in oncology research and knowledge. So uh, the young uh, doctors should uh, continue to learn and understand not only clinical practice, but also having a grasp of the basic science and uh, uh, knowledge and uh, uh, bioinformatics, keeping, you know, creative thinking, that means creative thinking. Uh, secondly, cure which uh, research mandates uh, be skilled and identify and often ask a question in your daily practice and work, uh, seeing each case as a learning op opportunity. That means the scientific thinking. And uh, certainly, and most importantly, uh, never forget the human uh, nestic concern. Ultimate goal of the clinical trial is to benefit and save patients. Always put patient centered, uh, process deep uh, empathy, excellent communication skills, and strong ethical principles. Understanding how to make a shared uh, decision with the patient and their families, accompanying them on the difficulty treatment period. So uh, it's very, it's also very challenging, but immensely rewarding career. Thank you so much. This was very insightful, especially the part when you highlighted uh, young professionals to be uh, more creative. It's very important. I think in this era of artificial intelligence, it's very important to use our natural intelligence as well. So Professor Chen, mm -hmm. once again, thanks a lot for your time and um, hope to meet you in person soon. Okay, so thank you much. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.